this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming so in this video tutorial we're gonna see how we can pass the address of a variable to a function and uh, this is also called pass by reference in C so let's begin so in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose we're gonna create two variables and uh, we're gonna as in that variables with some values then we're gonna create a function which is gonna take the address of these two variables and uh, print the values stored in the address we have passed so first we're gonna create two variables it's gonna be x and y and I'm gonna assign this x with a value of 100 and the y with a value of 200 so next we need to call the call a function and pass the address of these two variables so before defining the function I'm gonna prototype it so it's gonna be wide let's call the function as display then as a parameters it's gonna take the address of these two variables that's, that's why these parameters are gonna be the pointers to integers that's why we're gonna specify int star and int star so after this function prototyping we need to define it so after the main function I'm gonna define my display function it's gonna be wide display and as a parameters it's gonna take uh, two integer pointers it's gonna be int star p another one is int star q so this p and q are the pointers or in other words this p and q are gonna contain the address which is passed from this main function so in this display function we're just going to print the value stored in the address received to these pointers so we're gonna use that printf function and uh, we're gonna write percentage d then add a tab then percentage d we're gonna use this star operator or value it operator it's gonna be star p and star q so i'm gonna save it now in this main function we need to call our display function and pass the address of these two variables x and y to that function so i'm gonna call it display and I'm gonna pass the address of x by using ampersand x and address of y by using ampersand y so save it and run it so as you can see here the values stored at the memory location passed to this display function are 100 and 200 that's because you know uh, we have stored the value 100 and 200 in this variables x and y and we passed the address of these two variables to the display function so what happened here was when we uh, declared these two variables and as in the values to these variables uh, in some memory locations uh, that two variables were created and you know the values these two values were stored in that memory locations so for the demonstration purpose we assume that uh, the address of uh, the variable x was 19453 and the address of the variable y was 19457 so when we called this display function and uh, we pass the address of this variable x and y you know this p and q were containing the address of uh, this x and y so p was containing 19453 that's the address of x and q was containing the address of y that was 19457 so when we printed that value using printf function you know uh, star p was indicating the value stored at the location um, 19453 so that was you know the value stored in x that was 100 and when we use this star q that means that okay the value stored in the memory location specified in this q variable that was 19457 and the value stored in that 19457 was 200 that's why it printed 100 and 200 so now in this display function we're gonna change the values uh, pointed by these two address locations so that's gonna be star p equal to let's say 10 and uh, star q equal to 20 so here we're not changing the values of this p and q this p and q are containing the memory address so we are changing the value stored in that memory address so I'm gonna explain it then it's gonna make sense to you so here when this main main function passed the address of this x and y you know the value stored in this in that x and y was 100 and 200 
and in this p and q contain the address of these variables x and y so now what we are doing is we are changing these values by using this memory address so here star p means okay go to the memory location which is specified in u that is this this memory location and change that value to 10 so it's going to be 10 now not 100 so then star q means go to the memory location stored in this variable q and change that value to 20 so it's going to be 20 now and not 200 so that's why when we pass the address of the variables to a function we can change the values in that variable by using the addresses so as you can see here you know this uh, x and y values are changed here so now I'm gonna close it and now we're gonna print the value in this main function so we're gonna use a printf statement and we're gonna say before function call x is percentage d and y is percentage d so we have to refer x comma y I'm gonna copy this and uh, I'm gonna paste after the function call v I'm gonna make it after function call x was percentage d and y was percentage d so I'm gonna save this compile it and run it so as you can see here before function call x is 100 and y is 200 that's because you know here we are assigning the values of 100 and 200 to these variables x and y so then we call this display function and we pass the address of these two variables to the function so here in this display function we just printed the value um, which is stored in the memory location we received that was you know the address of x and address of y and the value stored in that memory addresses were 100 and 200 then here by using that memory locations we change the value stored in that variables x and y so when um, the control comes back after this display function it just prints after function call x is 10 and y is 20 that's because you know the value was changed here and that change is reflected in this main function also so i'm gonna close it and the next thing is was the use of passing the address of a variable to a function so all of you know that you know if you use a return statement to return some value from a function then you can uh, return only one value at a time but if you pass the address of a variable then you can uh, make changes to that variable in the called function so the change will be reflected in the caller function also so if you want to change the multiple values in the called function that is in this case display function then you can pass the address of variables to that function so this is it this is about uh, you know pass by reference or passing the address of a variable to a function so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page at um, facebook.com slash learning so i see you in the next tutorial